Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your June 2021 general reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun and Rising Signs. Sagittarius, this is a general reading, more of the general energies. If love pops up we'll talk about it of course, but this is uh, mainly to do with uh, general energies, life purpose, finances, all of that good stuff. And we will see what spirit is called to give us here for June. The advice that spirit wants to give us for June. Sagittarius, let's take a look. Message from spirit for Sagittarius, please, for the month of June. What does Sagittarius need to hear, please, spirit guides? Okay. The pillar of light. Okay, we'll take that top one. Pillar of light, descent of the star. Okay, I'm seeing this as energy being drawn down. It feels like being in, being in the path, being in the path of information. Now, how we choose to receive that information, Sagittarius. Well, we'll look into that. Let's take a look. I want to get the uh, the general energy for Sagittarius using the Elemental Oracle. Please show me the energy around Sagittarius, please, for the month of June. The energy? Earth energy. Okay. So you're choosing to receive it in the home or even in the body. I'm seeing that as uh, your actual home, your, your spiritual home, your, your body. Uh, let's see. I'm going to get a card from this deck. Message for Sagittarius, please. Spiritual message for Sagittarius for June. Voices, okay. And also, I want to have a look and uh, see. Let's get a card from this. What should Sagittarius focus on, please, for June? What should Sagittarius focus on for June, please, Spirit Guides? Okay, let's take a look. Pentacles evocation and we'll get one more card the supporting energy we'll get a witch's familiar for my beautiful Sagittarians supporting energy please for Sagittarius for June we'll take both of those we have the mole okay who's the mole do you remember that old show and the black cat oh beautiful energy there so Sagittarius I'll start with this pillar of light. Sagittarius, think of it as like a broadband or an internet connection or even an electrical current, but it's high vibration, it's high voltage, it's, it's high, uh, well, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's like attuned to a vibration that others can't fathom. Uh, it's like, uh, what are we at, 5G? This is like 50G, you know, uh, something like that. It, it feels like the energy that's coming from a spirit that wants to connect to you. Now, when it comes in, if it's not grounded, what happens? Well, there's an energy of like frying the circuits. So I feel like you're receiving messages from your spirit guides, your ancestors. Uh, there's an energy here of trusting in that information when it is given to you. It may be given to you in non-traditional ways. Uh, it could be in signs, synchronicities, something that could, you continue to see over and over again. For others of you, it's something that is more pronounced than that. It's something that kind of hits you in the face and you go, oh, whoa. Uh, I know what that was uh, so it'll be different for each one of you but I'm getting this energy here of needing to ground that we have the earth so yes this high broadband connection here needing to ground to ground we also have the pentacle which again is earth energy now when we the pentacle here represents all of the elements. The, uh, the top triangle here, if you will, is pointed towards spirit. So there's an energy here of 
being very finely attuned to all of the elements, being able to draw in and evoke magic as a result of having a connection to all of the the tools that are available to you like it's like it's kind of like you you've you've walked into a job uh, you've got everything you've got all of the skills that are available to be uh, successful to to get ahead to get the job done and and probably to a high degree you know again high broadband connection but there is a need to ground it with a more practical approach is what I'm getting from spirit. Now, there will be voices around you. I feel that this is other people having their two cents, putting their nose in where it doesn't belong. I even get like gossip. We've got the mole. I feel like that one of these people may even be represent as someone who is a, a friend but actually is this mole hmm. now this person has uh, I feel very different beliefs uh, very rigid in their beliefs uh, I don't feel that they believe in spirituality even so this person is I feel very low vibrational an, an earth dweller if you will I, I feel like this person is very religious as well okay uh, not to say you know nothing against uh, religious people or anything like that guys but uh, they're very rigid in their beliefs on their particular religion okay that's all I'm gonna say about that you'll be able to ferret or let's just say mole you, you'll be able to uncover the rest you, you'll be able to uncover this mole you'll recognize them by their beliefs and their rigid holding to those beliefs okay now the black cat let's talk about lucky here there is an energy around you of somebody trying to tarnish you in some way uh, putting out a message here that could be uh, trying to tarnish your reputation uh, it's no fault of your own it's just because you are considered different like this black cat uh, you understand what it's like to be judged unfairly uh, you've suffered more than your fair share of trials and it's because you are a higher vibrational energy uh, being magical in a mundane world can unfortunately be cause for rejection uh, the black cat knows this it was once worshipped but now it is uh, vilified it's seen uh, black animals unfortunately are as uh, seen as an unpopular choice uh, when it comes to our pets now hopefully that is changing guys but um, uh, they were considered unlucky but the, of course that that is untrue uh, superstition it's pure superstition so uh, I feel like there are people around you who are a low vibrational type of people that you have to look out for that uh, are trying to tarnish your reputation or somehow it could even just be well I say just a it could be a rejection you may be feeling reject rejected by someone or maybe a group of people because you are uh, different you're, you're vibrating at a different level from those people they're more ground dweller um, people that are very rigid in their beliefs now the black cat you know he's an independent type here he won't be owned he's very powerful he's very instrumental to the craft so being true to yourself and loyal to the cause standing up for what you believe in here uh, breaking free from any kind of controlling situations if you believe in yourself if you remain independent I do feel that you can weather the storm I'm getting that weathering the storm Sagittarius so let's see where this goes guys I'll put uh, this energy up here I have already meditated on your cards but I will do a few more uh, shuffles and let's get into the reading Sagittarius new this month for the general reads I'll be offering an extended so if this is if if you'd like to find out more 
Uh, this will be a full read, but uh, I will be clarifying and going into a lot more uh, depth and offering an extended version to the link for that. You can watch it on Vimeo. The link is down below. Or if you want to watch it here on YouTube, you can join my channel membership, the Band of Gypsies. And there are ways that you can do that by clicking on the join button below or looking in the box below. For more information, you can watch them here on YouTube. At the extended access reading level, you can view all of the extendeds for all of my readings, including the love readings, for every month that you remain a member. Okay, guys, let's have a look. One more shuffle, Sagittarius, and we will get into this reading. Let's take a look. We have the Eight of Swords in Reverse. The Ace of Swords in Reverse. Okay. The Six of Wands. Beautiful. The Five of Cups. The Emperor. I love that. We have the Four of Swords in Reverse. The Fool in Reverse, okay. The Knight of Swords in Reverse. The Seven of Cups. Okay. So Sagittarius, I want to start with the Eight of Swords in the Reverse here. This is you being free to do whatever the heck you want and not worrying about any, what anyone else says or tries to put on you. I feel that some of you may be being vilified for your independence. Now why is that? You know, it, it kind of drives me a bit crazy here Sagittarius because we're all taught to be self-sufficient, to have high self-worth, we're all taught to value ourselves, to not need other people. So why is it that when someone actually is happy and achieving that, that they kind of get picked on, rejected, uh, thought of as strange, otherworldly, weird even, for wanting to, to remain that way or, or aspiring to be their best self, which I feel is all that you've really done here, Sagittarius. You have a, a, attained a level of freedom that most people are unable to attain and I feel that there has unfortunately brought upon some haters some, and I've been getting that kind of energy around you lately hater vibes uh, these people may even feel you may even feel like they're rejecting you but my goodness you know this really is a case of rejection is protection because uh, these people are very low vibrational They'd be causing all kinds of havoc here, like the, if you have a mole in your yard, you know what kind of havoc that can create, right? They dig up all kinds and cause a whole lot of uh, damage uh, to your yard. Well, even though moles, of course, are beautiful creatures and one should never harm a mole. If you can get rid of them humanely, of course, uh, that's the best uh, best thing to do there. But they, unfortunately, they do also create a lot of disturbance if they're where they shouldn't be. Let's just say that. So there's an energy around you, Sagittarius, of casting off the shackles of other people's expectations, other people's restrictions, and just living how you want to live. Now, obviously not doing anything to harm others of course that's that goes without saying but if you're not uh, if, if you're not harming others if you're uh, doing good in your world and in the world of other people then why are people having a go at you I think that that's that's the, the issue here the ace of swords in reverse I feel is this uh, talk hmm. People misunderstanding you, this voices, the voices, voices that don't know what the heck they, they're talking about, they really have no idea, people talking out of their, the you know what, you know what, do you have to listen to these, 
Well, the way that I'm seeing this Sagittarius, if we add these two together, the Eight and the Ace, you get the Nine of Swords in reverse. So it feels like you're being attacked in some way. But I'm getting a very strong vibration of how you react to this is some kind of spiritual test. Hmm. Okay. It can go one of two, one, one of many different ways, but the, the way that I'm seeing this is, is that it doesn't have to be as destructive. This mole doesn't have to be destructive. You can humanely remove the mole from your yard, so to speak. Okay, not harming the mole. It's, it's weird how that, that energy came up uh, before I even realized what it, what it meant, but, but that's what it, it's speaking to me about, is, is removing this mole from your life without causing harm to that mole is something that you're being led to do. Okay, so let, let's continue here, guys. We've got the uh, the Six of Wands now. This is uh, this is kind of a success, victory. And with the Emperor, I feel that these two are very much uh, go together. It is about being able to, I see this as like conquering the world, conquering, uh, conquering your own personal world, whatever that means to you. I, I do have it as achieving a, a level that uh, you aspire, you have long aspired to achieve. Okay. The Emperor for you, Sagittarius, is home, stability, groundedness, built in with the passion, the desire, having it all. Uh, I see this as you being able to achieve self-sufficiency. This is you being able to, uh, to do something that you love to do and uh, achieve a level of success whatever success means to you. There's a grounded energy around this, an earthy energy, so I do feel that money is also attached to this, prosperity. So there's success here. Something is going to pay off for you. And it's because you've stayed the course, because you've been able to overcome a lot in your life. You've put all of the trials, the tribulations, the difficulties, the obstacles, you've put all of that. It's almost like, um, it, it feels like uh, hurdles. If you think of a, a track there with hurdles for a person to jump over, you've jumped over hurdle after hurdle after hurdle after hurdle after hurdle. And this is you looking back at the hurdles, recognizing why those hurdles were there. Recognizing there was a purpose in all of that and it's to get you to this place of feeling accomplished. Looking back and said, yeah, I achieved something. It's, it's like um, if you think of building, building something, uh, uh, if you are someone who creates something and then when you've created it, it may have taken a very long time to actually make it, but when you're able to f see it fully realized and step back and look at it and say, wow, you know what, I achieved that. And giving yourself a pat on the back because I feel, unfortunately for a lot of Sagittarians, I feel like you may be the only one that is giving yourself a pat on the back, but you know what? you know what you did and that's all that matters really you, do, you don't need validation from other people it would be nice to have it absolutely but the thing is they don't just don't seem to understand uh, what you've achieved here they seem to be writing it off as nonsense frou-frou uh, not important it is important 
The Five of Cups, Sagittarius. Don't let it get you down. Don't let uh, outside factors take away your from your success. And don't get caught up in, I get an illusion, an illusion, being caught in an, in an illusion. I feel like Sagittarius, the message that I'm getting here from Spirit is that you have gone through some rejection recently. Now, I feel that these were by people who were not vibrating at your level. I, I do get this mole kind of energy. I feel like you have been able to walk on, to, to move on from those people. There was, there may be, I'm getting the energy of three. There may have been already three, or you may have had two and have one more to go, but I'm getting this energy of you have to go through three of these to get to the one. So there's going to be three people before you meet the one. Uh, whatever that means in, in your particular life there, Sagittarius, but try not to... Try not to worry about the, the ones that are on, I get a karmic energy, people that are going to reject you. Try not to focus on that because there is going to be one who believes in you, one who knows, one who knows what you've achieved here, looks at it not with jealousy or envy or giving you the side eye or disbelief but one who appreciates you for what you've achieved that's that's in the love department there uh, now some of these people who re you may feel rejection from could even be uh, family or friends or associates as well they're going to come in and try and diminish what you are accomplishing here Sagittarius We've got the Four of Swords. This has come up in the reverse. It's important at this present time to give yourself a little bit of a break from time to time because I feel I just feel like you've been working so hard. You know, Get, cut yourself some slack. You've already achieved a lot. I feel like you want to achieve more. Yes, I see that. You'll get there. But you're at a place right now where you can afford to just kind of cut yourself a little bit of slack. Shut off the voices. External and internal. And appreciate the silence, the stillness. Uh, some of you may decide to, to go out and do some uh, camping. Uh, some of you may go hiking. I do feel like some of you may even go on a spiritual retreat. Others of you, I feel, may... Okay, I'm, I'm getting this like a... For some reason, I'm getting silence. I, I don't feel there's a lot of activity or... It's, it's, it's stilling the voices so that you can listen, be guided, hear more of your intuition. So I do feel this energy of retreat. Okay. Because you don't want to... You know, when we've got this high broadband internet energy that's coming into you. You know, a lot of uh, very strong spiritual energy being directed towards you. I feel that in order to ground this, you have to take numerous timeouts, uh, breaks uh, from the voices. Uh, it's necessary so that the voices come in stronger, uh, the messages come in stronger, that you notice, this, that you notice the voices. Because some of you here, uh, there may be an interference 
of an, an electrical kind. I'm getting that electrical interference. Uh, closing off the devices, uh, shutting off the TV. Uh, in order to connect more with source is what I'm getting from spirit. Uh, it, it feels very powerful. Uh, it feels healing. So whatever you're going through here, Sagittarius, I feel like you're being led to a, a healthier place by not focusing on voices, closing yourself off from other... I'm not saying be a hermit or anything like that, but it just feels like every now and again <clears throat> you may need to spend a lot more time alone. You know, for every day or two that you're with people, you might have to spend like half a day alone, closing off those voices so that you preserve your energy. Because mm. this, this kind of energy coming into you, there's going to be, mm, yeah, it feels like a, it feels like a magnet actually. I'm getting this energy of a magnet, people being drawn to it. <clears throat> and there's a need for you okay okay I'm getting this wolves keeping the wolves at bay keeping the wolves at bay I feel it's this mole energy again a uh, wolf in sheep's clothing a mole a wolf in sheep's clothing somebody who appears to be on your side but yet isn't okay uh, you'll find out who this is the answer will come to you in the in one of these timeouts uh, some of you could be meditating and the message comes to you uh, but the message will come to you and it may be a little bit surprising who it is okay let's see we've got the fool in reverse you know what what I'm getting around this it's interesting because I do see this as risk, as taking that leap of faith, doing things as you normally do, Sagittarius, but with that just that little bit of caution thrown in, okay? Uh, being your beautiful self, having that very innocent spirit, but needing to be cautious because of this energy that's around you it's not something within you i feel uh, that you have to embrace that that inner fool if you will that uh, that beautiful pure innocence and not have it tarnished not have it tarnished yeah well let's let's see we've got the knight of swords in reverse i feel that this is the mole this is the person that is speaking ill of you. I feel that they come in and then they go away and they, they go and say kind of nasty things. I mean, th this, this person is, uh, well, I feel like they are uh, two-faced. Uh, I'm getting like a, an air energy, guys. So uh, it may be an air sign or just someone who when it comes to the communication style I feel like this person is a liar a liar okay now the seven of cups this feels to me like keeping your options open my advice for you Sagittarius is to remain open to the possibilities 
I feel like you are being a little bit spoiled here in June because by the end of the month I feel like you're going to have options now one of these options I feel is two-faced I get that they're nice to you when they're around you but then they go away and they say not very nice things Sagittarius uh, now how do you well goodness spirit talk about give us a task here you'll be able to find this out I, I feel like I don't feel anyone's going to tell you about it I feel that it comes from within you you'll know you'll know who this is they're giving us a little bit of a clue there with uh, that ground dwelling energy and someone who's very rigid in their beliefs uh, you'll understand this person is not what they say okay my spirit guide is saying this person is going to let you down in some way they're going to let you down by not following through on something that they said they were going to do okay so that that's how that this is going to manifest uh this mole they're going to let you down i don't i don't actually feel that they even believed uh, the thing is when they said that what they were going to do they didn't believe it themselves i feel that they were lying you're going to find this out you're going to find this out and and it may even knock you a bit it, it may it may feel like rejection <clears throat> and you're going to find and you may find out that this person's actually uh, lied to you uh, gone cold gone silent you may hear some some of you may hear gossip about this but i actually feel it's more silence the silence will speak volumes the silence will speak volumes but you have other options yeah that's the thing don't worry i, I feel that it's there is going to be rejection here that i feel that this is someone who said they were going to do something and then mm, i feel like they may ghost you but try not to worry because I feel like you have a lot more options in the future. So remain open to the possibility because something else is going to happen. <clears throat> Remember I had that three energy Sagittarius. So I feel like you'll have three of these karmic kind of things come in. Maybe quite quickly one after the other. But remain open because I feel that the signs are coming to you there is something that is manifesting in the background there and I feel it's other options at least two other options is what I'm getting from spirit so three and then you may have two that come up that are, are possibilities very close together to choose from mm. that's that's in june guys wow there's a lot happening <laughs> um wow let's see i will offer an extended so if this is resonating uh, please do join me the link is down below or you can go and join my band of gypsies my channel membership and join at the access to the extended readings level and there you can get all of the access to uh, to all of the uh, the readings the extended reads so please do feel free to join me there if you'd like if you'd prefer a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my etsy shop and purchase directly there the link is down below don't forget to like share subscribe leave me a comment as well uh, Sagittarius message for Sagittarius what does Sagittarius need to hear Clamatus 
intelligence and mental beauty. Wisdom is the abstract of the past, but beauty is the promise of the future. Intelligence and mental beauty. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, you know, you will have some people who are very low vibration uh, that only uh, see the uh, external. But then you will have other people who will recognize intelligence and will recognize wisdom as also being part of one's beauty. You know, some people are intimidated by a smart individual, especially a smart woman. Oh, yeah. And there may even be a jealousy directed from, I get, I do get some other women. I get other women, jealous voices, jealous voices that are jealous of your, your mental ability. I am getting that. Wisdom. Wisdom is the abstract of the past, but beauty is the promise of the future. Yeah. Uh, I feel like in the future here, Sagittarius, you, you are, uh, you're going to be a bit spoiled for choice. I am getting that. Spoiled for choice. So try not to focus on rejection that is happening now or in the recent past. Don't listen to the negative voices that are either within you or surrounding you by, uh, by jealous people. Uh, the black cat is lucky. Uh, don't let anyone say otherwise. If you do happen to see a black cat or if you have a black cat, uh, that is a sign of uh, lucky. Uh, and I also get eso an esoteric kind of calling as well around that. So you've got a direct hotline here from Spirit, this pillar of light. You have the skills, the knowledge, the tools available to you to evoke magic in a mundane world. And that is going to throw some people off. Vibrating at that higher level, there is going to throw other people off. These ground dwellers. But you know what? You don't have to worry about that. Because luck is on your side. And you don't have to give energy to these, these lower vibrational energies. Uh, I feel that you will humanely remove the mole from your garden using your wisdom, your intelligence and be able to move on from a feeling of being rejected by these, these moles that are around you. Guys, that's what I'm getting, you know. Uh, grounding yourself with the realization that you have been through a lot, overcome much, and are uh, self-reliant, independent, and uh, about to be, or, or some of you already, are quite successful. So you know what? Seven of Cups, moving on to the next. That's what I say. So Sagittarius, let's talk about this more in the extended. Again, the link is down below or you can join my channel membership for access here on YouTube. Wishing you the best for now, Sagittarius. Please do take care. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.